I'm studying animal behavior science and I was a animal health technician which is here referred to as a veterinary nurse and I was one for seven years and I was really interested in animal behavior. Probably about four years ago was at a dog walk for the SPCA and this is when I was interested in animal behavior and they have an animal behaviorist there and she recommended the University of Lincoln. Also the other behaviorist in Canada, um, Dr. Rebecca Ledger, she did her PhD with Daniel Mills up at Rise Home here. Best thing about my course is the lectures and the interesting areas that I didn't expect it to take. Um, it opened up new areas that I wasn't expecting and, and new areas of interest. So. Everything, as a student, it's, it's easy because everything's within walking distance. It's easy to commute to other areas if necessary. But also, the people are nice and friendly. There's a, a lot of history. Um, so it's really interesting to, to, to view all the differences that way. And it's a nice place to be. I'd say invested and respected. Um, the lecturers are invested in the students and, and in your course and learning. And respected, obviously, if, if, I, if I know several people that have recommended this um, course and subject in this school in particular, I, I think it's, it's fairly well known outside of, of Lincoln. Not entirely certain, um, one of two options, either a clinical animal behaviorist, which is treating problem dogs and cats, um, more interested in the small animals, so dogs and cats, um, or behavioral ecology um, and, and something along that, that line.